It has that truck chassis, that truck look chassis, but it's really not a commercial truck chassis. A lot of times with these, you have a really hard time getting under. This is very easy to just step down into the driver's seat. So if you are tall, it's pretty easy to get into. And what's important about this RV, it's going to be the price. It comes in very competitive compared to other Super C's that are out in the market. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. And behind us, we have one of the best-selling Super C's on the market. We're going to show you the Jayco Seneca 37TS, and we're going to show you why it's such a bang for the buck and why so many people are buying it. So as you can see behind us, it, this is, you know, it has that truck chassis, that truck look chassis, but it's really not a commercial truck chassis. It's, it's on the Freightliner S2 RV, the Freightliner custom chassis. It's kind of like that Super C chassis, but it's only made for RVs. So you're not going to see the same chassis on commercial trucks. With that being said, it does give you a little more capability than some, you know, class A's of this size. There's some nice features in here that we're going to point out. So the first thing, Super C, you're going to have the bunk overhead you see the bunk over here, one piece fiberglass. So what that's gonna mean is less seams, less areas for future intrusion or kind of breakdown of the seams. And it's gonna give you a lot of room when you're inside. You'll see how much room that bunk has when you're inside. Starting down the passenger side, this is full body paint, Jayco, and uh, Integra, they use the Sickens paint. Now, Sickens paint never fully cures. It's very uh, like a flexible paint. What that does, it protects from that fiberglass, you know, between the, and the weather from shrinking to expanding in heat. It's gonna protect and reduce the chance of cracking on your paint. It's gonna look good for a really long time. And this is, you know, a really nice paint job. And what's important about this RV, it's gonna be the price, which we're gonna show you a little bit later. It comes in very competitive compared to other Super C's that are out on the market. Now you're going to have uh, air ride in the rear. This is also gonna have air brakes, but right up front, you're gonna have your classic leaf spring suspension. Big wheels here, 275, 80, 22 and a half on the front tires. You know, the big beefy tires and give you a nice ride going down the road. Now you can see the big semi truck style mirrors. You're also gonna have your fiberglass steps going in. Nice thing about the Super C's and C's in general, you have multiple points of entry. So you can enter through here, obviously the driver's side, and then you actually have the living area where you can go inside also. Now, moving along down the passenger side, you have your blind spot camera. So when you turn your signal light inside, these cameras will activate on a screen. It's gonna give you view of this blind spot. When you're going down the road, you can't see squat. If you're a driver, this is a big blind spot, but it's gonna give you some views of that. Now you see you have your fiberglass door, and we're gonna be transparent here. This is a pretty light door compared to what you know other ones we've seen out there. It's your standard RV fiberglass door, but certainly uh, not what you would see on a higher end Super C. Now, all of the Integras and the Jayco's, which is essentially the same unit, they're gonna come with the J-Ride, right? What's the J-Ride? It's some upgraded suspension. It's gonna help with the handling a little better. It includes the shocks, the air brakes on this one, and other suspension components. Three steps. This is a nice option because if you have some kind of hip problems or trouble walking, the step going lower is gonna make it a little easier to get up. Now, if you look up above us, you have an awning and you can see it covers, you know, a lot of the campsite. You don't have a slide topper on slide number one, which is very similar to what we have, right? We don't have that slide topper, but honestly, not too necessary because you do have the awning up above. Just above, you have, we have slide number one here. We're gonna start below. And here's where we find, you know, this one kind of stands out a lot over some other Super C's that we've seen. And we'll show you when we go inside. First thing, aluminum doors with a slam latch. And I really like the paint job, right? The design. Yeah, that's these, cool. these are not decals. This is all smooth to the touch. It's all paint. Here's the first thing. Again, competitive at this price range. You're gonna have a, well, this is an ever chill. Usually you have the medic, but you're gonna have the refrigerator freezer on a slide out. Really nice to have. Now, personally, I think I would rather take the room inside, but I'm sure you can option, or you, it's easy to take out, but a lot of room and a nice option that you have for something at this price range. Now, come inside bay number two. This is where this kind of stands out a lot. Now, you know we've done videos on Renegades and those are excellent super C's, but you don't have this space. There's a lot of storage in here. And now you may think to yourself, oh, well, my class A diesel pusher has a lot more storage and it does. This is a lot of space. And you could see the aluminum structure, steel structure, 
to reinforce the house up top. Nicely carpeted out. You can get a lot of stuff in here. You MJ, said, like that. You said nicely carpeted. That's those two words are not together. Well, it's the basement, together. so you don't have people walking around. And you see the LED lights in here. Nicely finished out. Really, really like how this looks. All right, so focusing on the slide here, you're going to have frameless windows throughout. Again, the full body paint looks really neat. You have a cutout here for your entertainment, the Insignia television. This looks to be 40 inches or so. Outside radio with Furion speakers as well as your outlets. And I oh know they didn't secure that one too well. You know, it's there. It's a nice option to have. Continuing back, this is a it's just going to be dual wheels on the back. You're not going to have the tandem on here. Uh, we'll tell you the measurements when I when I wrap up the exterior exactly what you're dealing with as far as measurements. And you see another frameless window leading right before your slide number two. This is gonna be in your bedroom. You'll we'll see how it opens up inside. Now, this is a propane slash electric coach. You have a 24 and a half gallon propane tank. It's going to be heated with propane. Moving down to your next bay, you see you have a lot of room here. Now this is not finished out in carpet. This is finished out in like that rotocast plastic type. You have your LED light in here. I don't know what it's on, but I'm sure there's a reason why we go inside and turn it on. You have your low point drain here. So very easy to dump out your low point drain system. And then moving on to the last bay, and it's weird because this light just moved with motion. So I don't know if that bulb is out or something's going on, but lights up with the, as soon as we got to the motion, the LED turns on and you have another decent amount of space in here. You can fit a good amount of things in here. Now let's move on to the rear. We like this. One piece fiberglass cab. We also like that there's a ladder, so it's gonna give you access to the roof where you're gonna have a 190 watt solar panel standard. This is where you start getting a little bit more versus like regular C-class motorhomes is that you're gonna have a 12,000 pound towing capacity down here. Now, it's not gonna be where your other super C's are, but again, the price is not gonna be there also. All LED taillights, big window in the rear. You see when you go inside how it's gonna open everything up inside, let in a lot of light. So talking about towing, the easiest way to tow a vehicle is gonna be on a flat tow and that's where NSA Tow Bar comes into play. This video is sponsored by NSA Tow Bar. It is what we choose to tow our Mustang. Why? Because it's 30 to 40% less expensive than the competition. It's super easy, made in the USA by workers in Kansas. They've been in business for a long time. And to save even more money, we have discount code to use ENDLESS5. You will save another 5% off. Again, if you're gonna spend some money on this, you wanna save a couple of bucks, but you still want the easiest way to tow, NSA Tow Bars is your number one choice. Now remember, I said this is going to be propane heated, which means you don't have the hydronic heating. Well, you may think, oh, well, I like that endless hot water, but you still have that on here because you have a Gerard tankless water heater, which is always a nice thing. The tankless water heater, guys, that this would be standard on motorhomes now. It's really the direct fire, it's smaller ones. I don't even know why they're doing it anymore because these are coming down a lot in price and they're just really a great option. Now you have an eight thousand watt onan generator it's going to be plenty of power to run this 50 amp coach here is going to be your fill up for your diesel now this is 100 gallons of diesel fuel which is not huge but it's not the lowest either it'll be a decent amount for this you won't be stopping you know every 100 miles now moving on to the wet bay a couple of things we like here that you see on the higher end rvs well, number one we like the nautilus system right it makes everything super easy you can see it gives you whatever valve areas you want to put you have dry camping power tank you know city water winterized you just put the valves in the appropriate position like the picture and that's what you're able it's to do. It's dummy proof. It's dummy proof. Satellite connection, cable connection, you have your pumps here. You also can manually dump, but you have a Thetford Santacon macerator, which you can, you know, shoot poop at as far as you want. You also, you also, I've literally just got a visual of that in my head, not good. You also have the quick connect for the outside shower. It's like a spray, which actually I kind of prefer this one yeah. versus what we have. To wash the doggies. Yeah, it's a little annoying, the one we have. And look what else they give you here, right? A little accessory so you can put oh, in nice. the paper towel because towel, you want to clean that stuff. Also, you see you have some more low point drains as well as whole house filtration. Now, this will be the exhaust for your Dometic furnace. Remember I told you the heating is gonna be heat pumps plus a furnace if it gets you know too cold for those heat pumps. Now, here's a nice feature. You got a power cord, right? And the switch is right here. Power cord reel, always a nice thing. One thing I don't like, oh no, I'm sorry. I, I stand corrected. It. it does close. I stand corrected. So no little critters. Yeah, so I'm not gonna mess with that, but it does have the area. It has a cutout for the cord. That's always something you want. You can see the next bay. Again, the other side of that big storage that we had. You can see the LED light just went on. This is a lot of space. You know, we, we'd almost be satisfied with space like this. Yeah, this I mean, is not bad at we all. We always say super C's 
lack a lot of storage, which is why we... And, and what we mean is, if you haven't watched our other videos, usually this you don't see. It's kind of cut like right here, the walls here. Mm -hmm. So this is all you get. It's really nice that they give you, I keep emphasizing that, how much more space this has. All right, next bay. Just a continuation of the storage. Just keep, uh, so you know, this has a 2000 watt pure sign inverter in here. There's also eight house uh, chassis batteries, two house batteries. Here are where the house batteries are housed on a slide out tray, super convenient. So if you want to maintain, very easy, eight batteries. Now, of course, you could always put in lithium later on and get yourself a lot of power, 800 amp hours if you want of lithium. Here's your DEF fill as well as two more fiberglass steps to get into the driver's seat. And MJ will cover that when we go inside. But before we go inside, I'm gonna go over the specs. Now, regarding the chassis specs, here they go. Freightliner S2 RV chassis, which is said the gross vehicle weight rating 29,000 pounds. The gross combined weight rate, rate, weight rating 41,000 pounds. Now this is powered by a Cummins ISB 6.7 liter 360 horsepower diesel engine with 800 foot-pounds of torque. Now this is gonna have an Allison 3000 motorhome transmission. Again, when you start going into the other Super Cs, you're gonna get truck transmission, so that's where you're gonna start saving some money in here. 185 amp alternator, 12,000 pound rear hitch, 100 gallons of diesel fuel, 10 gallons of DEF. All right, now some of the specs on the actual motorhome itself. The overall length, 39 feet, four inches height, including the air conditioner, 13, four, eight and a half feet width. And now with the slides extended, it's gonna be 13 feet, seven inches. Interior height and the main area is seven feet high. Now, this is where it's a little bit different versus some other Super Cs. Usually Super Cs have really big tanks regarding uh, fresh water tanks. 72 gallons on the fresh, 40 on the uh, gray, and 50 on the black tank. Usually they're 150 gallons, but you know, 72 is fine. So I am wrapped up on the outside. MJ is going to take you on a tour of the inside. Join me inside. So as you walk in, you're going to see this is a nice wide open feel, a lot more than some other Super C's that we've been on. A lot of times with these, you have a really hard time getting under. This is very easy to just step down into the driver's seat. So if you are tall, it's pretty easy to get into. Very comfortable seat. These are six way powered seats. Nice large steering wheel. Everything that you need, your uh, levelers are over here. Of course, as with Super C's, you have your two doors on either side. Pretty basic. I dare you to blow the cup. air horn. No, no <laughs> in the middle of RV1. We have cup holders here. Again, the Super C cockpit is never really something special, right? You have your small windshield. It's just kind of goes with the territory, but this is a very comfortable and spacious one compared to some other ones that we've been in. So right above is gonna be your bunk. Now, this is nice and roomy. This has a 750 pound capacity. And this is what I love about these because it's the full length of the RV. So a tall person can easily fit up here. Now this RV actually advertises that it sleeps eight. So you can decide that. You have some nice areas here with some netting to keep personal items and also on here and both sides, you got cup holders, outlets, and then you have your, your privacy curtain here. Here's your ladder. Here's your light controls. And then your shade for the front of the cab, which gives you a nice view outside the front if you're hanging in the bunk area. Then hopping over here, when you first come in, is going to be your, your lights, your battery. Here's your Xantrax, your inverter, if you want to see how your batteries are doing. And then here, which is really cool, when you first come in, oh God, that is a tight one. You have like a little coat closet area with some hooks in there, so that's nice. A lot of times at RVs, you don't have places to, I know we don't, places no. to put those. Like, Especially well, we when you first come right, in. Right, I mean, we have a closet, but it's it's down further. And then some nice space up top to keep things. These are all hidden hinges too. Now, how do those cabinets feel? They're pretty sturdy, yeah. I mean, they're not, you know, like Renegade, but they're, they're not bad. Up above, we got a padded vinyl ceiling, okay, with your puck lights. Actually, we don't have these on. What I find important, right, so move up a little bit. Yeah. Now, you're five foot nine, right? I was going to get to this. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, because you had said it's 84 inches, right? I think that's what you had Seven, seven feet, whatever that translates yeah, they, to. Yeah, good. Back to math class. <laughs> All right. So seven times 12 is 84. So, yeah, so there's a lot of room. And we're actually going to show you in the bathroom, too, for you tall people, if this is going to be a good choice for you or not. So now you have here your two powered theater seats with some storage inside. Nice windows on either actually all around that you can look out while you're sitting and obviously just facing the TV, which is which is nice. And up above you have 
some storage space all the way across. Again, hidden hinges, and I like the LED lighting accent above that area is really a nice touch. Not a big fan of the balances, but that's just my personal opinion. All right, moving down. So now you're gonna have your bench seats here. This is also gonna turn into a bed. Now this is the Jayco exclusive legless dinette. Should we do it? We'll uh, I'm gonna get it back down. But, well, <laughs> this just comes down like this. So you can kind of see how you're gonna get that sleeping area. Now what's gonna be more fun is watching you get it back up. Maybe I can get it. It's, it's you gotta like, hook it from underneath. There you go. Ah, I did it! Yeah, the before secret's can, not left it. You gotta hook it from underneath. I know, and before we were we were not getting that under. So you have all your the flimsy. Yeah, those are crummy. I don't like those the, are crummy. I don't like the flimsy shades. Blackout shades. Yeah, but it is what it is. Okay, um, you have your vinyl flooring here all the way through. You do have carpet on the slide there. Headed over to the kitchen. Now, this is something that I really like in here is this kitchen area. There's one thing I, I like the whole thing. There's one thing I don't like, which I'll tell you, but let's just show you some. Uh, you have a lot of cabinet space in there. Okay, and then you have a bunch of drawers. These are nice long drawers not dovetailed and they're not soft closed just if you're curious again you're going to see the price at the end right and then that'll make sense why but you do have a lot of space in here okay deep, deep drawers right up above you have your uh, furion induction two burner cooktop obviously there's no oven on here but you do have a convection oven in the along with the microwave furion also and then over here you have i had a hard time opening Ugh opening these okay more space underneath the sink it's an interesting placement of the sink too which i kind of like because if you're washing dishes the nice deep, big deep sink too all right so if you're washing dishes you have room to put them so i like the size you have all this space but a lot of it is almost like you can't be cutting back here so you have like a little usable yeah. space it seems like a lot of wasted space but it's good to keep things like you keep a coffee maker or you know things like appliances so it's good for that is that real tile yes and then you have some nice space for your dishes and another big cabinet over here you can use you know spices or things like that in there and again with the led accent lighting up above which i really like if you're enjoying the video so far we invite you to join our family hit the subscribe button below and come along for the ride hit the notification bell too so you know when we release new videos and when we go live also if you're on facebook come join us we have a private group it's called endless rving rvers coming together we'll see you there all right so we're making a complete circle here then we're going to wind up on the other side here which you're going to have more sleeping space so you have a couch and this is going to be a jackknife very easy to move again the thing with this you're not fitting a tall yeah, those person just not, like, i mean if, this is like a little kid sleeping if you can not get a jackknife and get, and get the tri trifold get the trifold yeah. Yeah, just from experience right well that's where we messed up you know and now jason it can't even fit on it anymore so there's your your nice large tv which is on a televator and then little cabinet space up above that and these stay up which is nice again all these hidden hinges and this is nice this wooden mm -hmm. the wooden accents all around and you're also on this side you have two outlets and two usb so you can charge up while you're facing somebody watching the tv <laughs> all right so over here on the side of the kitchen there's a couple outlets here and you have more storage a couple drawers here that you can add some more things oh plenty of room to keep a lot of kitchen items. One thing I noticed, maybe it's different in the bedroom, I don't see uh, vents in the floor. So everything is kind of raised higher. So if you have doggies, you know what we're talking about, that hair can get in there. So that's actually a nice thing. Yeah, well, it's still going to get in there, but it always gets everywhere. It's true. It is true, especially with ours. A little tight in here, but it's fine. This is a large, large Whirlpool refrigerator. You know what this reminded me of when I did this? We got a comment. Everybody will enjoy this. Remember that comment we got that somebody said when we were showing on RV? Can you stop touching everything and putting your fingerprints <laughs> all over it? And Izzy said, okay, next time we'll do the tour with our feet instead. So, no, I won't do that. All right. Anyway, humongous fridge and free look at this that this, is huge that's what you need here's the thing right like you see how big this is how are you getting this in and out when this breaks you're not this is right. going this has i don't through, even you're taking the windshield i don't know how you, i don't even know that goes through the windshield yeah that would be a concern for me yeah yeah because it was put in obviously maybe through the back window probably maybe yeah and then you, more kitchen space two like small pantry areas here which is great so you're th you're not at a loss for kitchen space in here Here's your door. So into the bath. So you have a split bath. You have your sink right here. Small sink with some good storage underneath. The coloring is nice. Little accent light around the sink is very cool. And you have your towel hanger here. I right, said so the other side 
of the split bath is obviously your toilet and shower. You have a one piece fiberglass shower here. So now five, nine, and they put the skylight there, which is good because it's going to give you more, more head space. It's not huge. What also actually takes away a little of the space. You do have a, a little seat here that kind of makes it a little feeling tighter. I want you to get in here okay. so people can see you're six, close to six two. But I think for a tall, yeah, I mean, look, I mean, there's plenty of room for me here. You have a lot of room. Although this is like, I don't know why they didn't bring this higher. Hi, right. Because you could, you could have technically like water, water spraying out. out. Like that yep. doesn't make sense. But this is a, a decent size bathroom for something so small. Now it's not going to be like it is at a diesel pusher because you don't have that space, but I like how they made use of it. Yeah. And again, so if you're a tall person, really tall, this is going to work for you. You've got the high ceilings through out you have the high shower the toilet it's a porcelain toilet pedal flush but you have a lot of space here i'll sit on it for you so right there's there's not a lot of stuff in here because the bathroom you know cabinets and things are across the way right. with the split bath it's very spacious next the bedroom let's tie this door up here again with super c you are losing space because of that front area so the bedroom is not enormous but it does the job so we're going to start out you have two of these two wardrobes with a couple of drawers in each nice size drawers right so you can hang clothes in there and both sides two on each and then you have space in here you got a couple outlets in there clothes drawers Okay, two of those. And right up above, you have your Insignia TV. And then down below, more drawer space. All right, they're deep, but they're not very long. And then over here, you have that as well. Up above, this is a large storage area, right? It's deck goes back pretty far and it's high. And then in here, you actually have your combo washer dryer. You can option out a stackable washer dryer. I don't even know where that would fit. Yeah, well, you're gonna lose space gonna lose somewhere. A lot of space, a lot of yeah. space. yeah, but that's cool. And then you have a king size bed which is great. There is storage underneath. And this is a, here's your emergency exit. Look at the size of this window. This is so nice. You're gonna get so much light mm -hmm. in here and you have the two windows on the side of the bed too, but I like this a lot. So up above the bed, you do have three. These go back far, right? And it goes all the way across. So you have a good amount of storage space in there. You have your little reading lights, which are great. That's an interesting headboard. On each side, you also have a little stand, little nightstand, and there are outlets on each side of the bed, and you do have a little cabinet. So before we wrap up, I didn't show, actually there's more storage. So behind your TV, look at that. Isn't that awesome? You have an outlet Secret back there. Yes, a lot of them are doing that now. We see that a lot where the TVs either lift up or they open to the side and provide a good amount of storage there. So that is really cool. Also, you're going to have, you have your two AC units, so you have one in here, one in the main living area. All right, so we finally come to that time. What is the price on this unit? So the MSRP is $306,773 and you can get it for two sixty nine 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 five. dollars Now this is always, listen, the price is always negotiable. negotiable. And then we're starting to see some more discounts, yeah. although that's a pretty sad Stuck discount. <laughs> Uh, but if you are interested in this RV or really any RV, you going to reach out to Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. He does work for RV One now. He is the guy who's going to get you the best price. Put his information below yep. on his website. If you're serious about buying, you just go in, fill out that you're interested, and somebody will contact you from Matt's RV Reviews to get you the best price. So we hope you enjoyed this video, guys. In the comments below, let us know. Do you like the Jayco Super C? <laughs> or do you prefer other ones out there? And if you own one, let us know how it is. And for myself and MJ, we thank you guys for watching and we'll see you, you on the road. road.